That's cool. See him? They ain't real ripe yet because I don't see the queens moving. They left room for ventilation and entrance coming in, getting in and out of this hive. Okay, here was the furthest along, right here. She was actually starting to transform. Monday, last Monday. Today is Thursday. I had some stuff I had to take care of in town. Left town, came home. Swarm, big swarm, hanging in this pine tree out here on a on a low limb got a big box shook it in it i honestly think it came out of the long half what we're going to do today is find out if that's where it came from see what's left see if there's cells in there um see if they've got a, a queen in there see if they don't uh i'm gonna show you this i haven't opened these bees since i put them in this hive I want to kind of look myself and just see if this is the biggest swarm as I felt like it was. So you're going to see this just like I am. That's a box full of bees. I had, uh, I think, three frames of foundation. The rest of that is, or three frames of comb. The rest of that is foundation really and truly loaded there's about six frames of bees in that swarm that was pretty pretty good swarm i want to kind of know if those bees came out of that long box so what we're going to do we're going to put this back together i wanted to show you this batch of bees so that you get an idea of what this would have been like if she hadn't swarmed out with them. You remember I moved that nook of bees from down the hill, installed them in the long hive. Silly me thought by that move and install into a bigger area that she would not swarm. I feel like that was wrong. I'm pretty certain that this is the overwintered queen swarmed out, took that batch of bees with her. We're gonna go to the long hive, open it up, see what we got in there. You know, everything tends to happen at once this time of year with honeybees. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, honeybees operate on honeybees time schedule, not on our time schedule. Is that smoke getting on you, dear? No, I think I'll just have better visual over here. So we are just going to start working these bees over out from under their follower and see what we've got. I can see some new wax. Still got drones. But we knew we can't we transferred drone brood. I think what we want to look for is sales. Maybe a new queen that could have possibly returned.
I see a lot of wet bees, a lot of drones, lots of pollen. Little capped honey in the corner. I don't see any brood on this frame, but a lot of wet bees on it. So the frame next to it is hatching bees. We still got a full box of bees in here. So if we don't find any cells and we find a queen, then we're gonna scratch your head as to where that big swarm came from. Mm, look at that. Now that on the bottom is exactly what we talked about was gonna happen when we put these medium frames of brood in. So th there's my uh, queen mating drone generator. And right there is a queen cell. And it is capped. Hang on, I can't. Can you see that? Yeah, there, there we go. Hanging in such a sneaky location, so. Can you turn that frame up so they can see what it looks like? Oh, and, and isn't that a double? So that's another one right there with it, right? Mm-hmm. All right, we got just what we asked for. We uh, got comb full of drone brood laid on the bottom of that medium frame we put in there. We still got a ton of bees. We've got two cap queen cells that we found. I'll bet you they both got queens cooking in them. So at this point. Oh, there's another one. Nope, I see two more. So we've got four cells capped on here. So we know they capped them at nine. So we got some decisions to make. Do we make a split with them? There's a little nectar running out. Okay, that that frame has four cream. Mm -hmm. Four cells on it. My bet is now that I feel like they just built up that many bees. The old queen swarmed. This bunch is left holding the sack of requeening. No, no eggs or fresh brood. No, there. no. Uh -uh. A little bit of larva that's not capped yet. Well, they don't like that smoke. They're still bringing in the pollen because they've still got the bees to feed. No cells on this frame. This is this is typically what you're going to find after a swarm. A lot of empty cells where the emerging brood was. Lots of drones. A lot of nurse bees and swarm cells all right no cells on that we've only found a frame with cells it's got the four here's another mid that they built they built on to isn't that not amazing they built it the same depth as the deep frame and they built it all for uh, drone size, drone cell. Up in there where I see some uncapped larva that the old mama left. Just orphaned her children, just left like she did. Oh, and there's a cap cell right down there. Okay, so this frame has a capped cell. Cells are clean where the bees are hatching from and I've seen no eggs. Alright, so that makes 
five cells that are in this hive right now. And no presence of queen laying. Oh, boy, she left a load of brood on this frame. The thing about it, she did not leave them without the ability to fend for themselves. Bunches of cat brood. Flip that frame. Wow. She swarmed and she took a bunch of bees. Can you imagine the amount of bees that was in this small area pre-swarm? You know, I could I could make lots of excuses and throw me a little fit and have a a big stand up about why this happened. That wouldn't look good on YouTube. Wouldn't look good on YouTube? Does absolutely no good. Point is, I bought into the fact that they wouldn't swarm after I moved her. Look at that big old slab of drone laid off the bottom. There's another cap cell. Man, there's a lot of bees in here. So what happens is, is we got a decision to make. They made the split for me that I should have made. But I had not checked these bees. You know, all was well. Why would I check the bees? I'm losing count. How many, how many cells is this? Look at me dump, dumping that nectar out for them. I bet they appreciate that. Did the one before this one have a cell also? I believe like so. Like that one? The other so, drone one did not the... So we're, we're talking about six cells. We up to about six cells. <laughs> anyway, you got six cells. Something's going to happen. One of them cells is going to come on, turn into a queen. You know, textbook. You want to think that the queen's going to pop out and murder her sisters in the cells and then the bees chew it down and that one flies and mates and comes back and reigns victorious for a year eh. or they swarm six times yeah or they swarm six times the way things have been going this season i would bet more on the six swarms than i would the textbook this is how it works in the bee world Man, they got the brood. They gonna still have the bees. That'd be another, another big swarm come out of here. You know, and it's not to say that what I'm thinking about doing will stop another swarm. Okay, we've got off over here too. This dude is full of pollen. Bees. And they've got some nectar going in on the pollen on this side. All right, risky business. We think we've got six viable capped swarm cells I'm confident that swarm came from this hive. It's got the overwintered queen. Now she's set up. Those bees will go on to, to build up and, and do well. And I'll hopefully make some honey off of them. And by the way, our nectar flow is on. See that? That is just like water. That clear. Sugar water. Clear stuff. Well, I haven't fed them. Well, no, it's like sugar water. Right. Just like a one-to-one -one ratio. All right, so if Corinne can hang tight just for a moment, I'm going to go in there and get a little bucket, and we're going to tear cells down and leave two of those real nice ones on that first frame I found that said four. 
and we're going to tell them, tear them all down. We're going to leave two that are capped. Then we're going to then we're going to say that we've got this shot at requeening and not continually just casting swarms. Uh, we, we want to shut down this. These queens all come out and one hits the maybe kills one. They fight and one flies out the door and it takes a swarm with it and it's this big and then they don't get it worked out and the next queen flies and she takes a little mess with her while we're waiting on just one of them to breed come back and have this worked out we can dwindle this down to a non honey making situation so we're just going to cut them down we're going to knock them down to two cells and hope that they don't have an egg that they can turn right around and, and build four four more cells back so that's what we're going to do Grand fuel hold tight, I'm gonna go get us a little something to put sails in in the event that they start hatching like you've seen before. All right, let me get something. Nothing like a Juanita's peanut riddle bucket. Oh, this is cinnamon. Mm, my favorite. Mm -hmm. You got me to sing on Eden's Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like on Eden's Uh-huh. There, you got something else the YouTube fans might not want to hear. I don't know. It might sound like Barney. That's exactly what we can share. All right, I'm going to check for sales. We're going to put these dudes right on back like they were. I believe this big old nasty mess of stuff we got going on here is going to this will all turn to honey at some point, and we'll just cut that off and eat it. Okay, she has spotted the first one. I'll lay that right there. And that's the only one, correct? I think that so. That we, as far as we know. Okay. Sorry. There's the first cell. Have your own brood underneath it. What a deal. We called it. When you call for stuff, most times you get it. And they did, they built it exactly right down there to the depth of that deep frame sitting next to it. Sounds like our children are home here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of brood yet to come. We don't want to lose that brood because we want that brood to become some honey collecting machines this one so do y'all notice what's happened is they put the cells on the new drone brood comb that they built Look at, I want y'all to see something. Now, this is neat. This is pretty cool right here. I just noticed it. 
look at this chunk of comb and then you see it stops look why it stopped oh. it stopped at the door hmm. they left room for ventilation and entrance coming in getting in and out of this hive tell me these things don't don't have this figured out and it's cool how much they left yeah and left that's about a three and a half inch block there is this it wasn't there one of these that like pulled a little hidey sneaky up here on the edge There's one that's open, folks. Which mm. one? Where is it? Though? Right there. You see it? Yeah. Point at it so they can see. Well, let me see if I can work it out where I can do that. Right there is the side of one. Now, was that a dud? And they opened it up and took the dud out? I don't know. Or did a did a virgin queen come out of that and uh, they're now chewing it down? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, we got well, all we can do as beekeepers is make a decision and go with it. So we're we're still we're gonna go with what we said we were gonna do. one that we, we see correct mm -hmm. now you know what's got me now it's got me paranoid looking for a virgin queen walking around in here okay now right. getting late in the afternoon gotta do gotta do what we gotta do gotta make a decision we've made it we're gonna we are seeing some neat stuff though bees are acting nicely Probably got something to do with that nectar coming in finally. I don't know about where y'all live, but we have had rain, yes. and it's about every two to three days. It's such a strange spring. It's been cool. Mm -hmm. It's Which, cold. I it's don't. hot. This is my kind of spring, but... Trin loves the rain. I like the cool weather. I'm okay with the rain I until, like the it warm weather too, but. <laughs> until it becomes abundant. I like the cold weather. I'm all about the cold weather. I just like the weather as long as it's not a hundred. Mm, you're helping me right now. I, I don't see any, any cells on that one. Now, this is old number four. There are four cells on this single frame we're gonna leave two and Corinne's gonna pick them I already got them picked well tell me what they gonna be I, I say get rid of the two double side by side oh those are the ones I was keeping and keep the other two these are the ones I was keeping <laughs> you don't like those no those are the ones I'd get rid of. Mm, I don't know. Let me see what these You've already look told like. them that I could pick. Let me, let me see what these others look like. 
See, look how nice those are, especially the one up above Oh, that. you like these because they're picturesque. Like that one. Yeah, that one looks nice. Don't you think that's a winner? Well, dear, you're a winner. I'm a winner for getting you, so I'm going with it. We're going to take these two right here out. If I can stay that, but I'm going to sting my fingers. What happened? Look at these two nice ones you're going to have me take out. Built, look how they left them. The, see how they left them the guard gap? Bees can stay around them. I can't really see them. Them's really almost good. translucent yeah, enough to look through and see if there's a, a queen in there moving around. That's cool. See them? They ain't real ripe yet because I don't see the queens moving. All right, I'm still we're going with what you got on your mind, I really and truly. <laughs> don't want to. Well, you know, in reality, I should stop flopping this frame around upside down one way and then the other. All you queen queen raising guys out there understand that I don't raise queens. And that if I'm making some some serious boo-boo in the queen. Hopefully you can call Justin. Yeah, like if I boo boo this up and don't and I don't get a queen, I know a man that sells them. And I am not against buying them. This probably was the best extraction point though. Alright, we got we got a double. There we go. Gonna lay them in the bucket. I lay guess you could bucket. cut one open and guess at the age, huh? Well, I guess we could. Get an idea of how far along they are. All right. We've left two. We hope we hadn't boogered them up, flopping them around up here. These bees went from four or five, went from. Yeah, went from six to two sales. Good move or bad move? Mmm, I don't know. Y'all will find out the same as us. Now, if there's no brood on this frame, I'm gonna do a little, is that full of nectar? Mm-hmm. No, polish. It's got nectar too. Does it? Mm-hmm. Them drones sound like sandbags when they hit that hit that board. We're gonna leave that one there because I had it by that all that brood. Look at this pollen. I guess I've dumped that out as well. Big boy. I got a mark somewhere. I'm supposed to be going by. Okay. Remember, you remember for me, please. The frame we left the two cells on has a four cut in the top. Which doesn't mean four, it means two, right? Well, it means that's where them cells are at. We didn't do anything with those other. All right, we're gonna give them this, put this back here, we'll give them a little space right there they can move over into. Here is a foundation with comb on this side. And there's one behind you. I don't know if you want it or there, not. But I, yeah, and I had, I had me a couple right here. Okay. And we're going to put them in. And we're going to set this up with volume just like we know what we're doing. I'm going to check our board D's in.
and we'll get them working that in here and then we'll come in with a queen excluder and move foundation over not foundation move comb over and entice them to come through that queen excluder on because we really hope that was not bees by the way that was purpose <laughs> and because uh, we really hope that their nectar flow is starting and if we get them to requeen like we want Stinging bees. Okay. All right. Did you want to check a cell? Might as well. Let's check a cell while we're standing here. Now the bees swarmed on a Monday. Are you gonna feel bad if there's a queen comes out of this and I have to kill her? You really need a sharp knife, huh? Yeah. Okay. Here she is in the, I guess they call this exoskeleton mode. There's a prospectant queen. You gonna cut them all open? Well, what, what, what else do you want me to do with them? These, these folks about as well mm -hmm. be on this journey with us, right? Mm -hmm. They may always wanted to do this and thought, I can't do that. I gotta make a split with those. This one was not much of a sale, but it was loaded. Oh, I did good there. Now here's yours. And I can see through that. That is cool. I can see through it. So, you know, if they were really that close to hatching, we know they capped that at nine. That leaves six days, five days. So we don't have anything we need to drop a queen cell in that was not do anything but cause a problem. So let's just see if these were going to be... Hmm. That one was a little rougher. I think you did that so they didn't look so good. Okay. So these, you know, they come a long ways in a few days. And their last few days of preparation. Okay, here was the furthest along right here. She was actually starting to transform. So this one, without looking at, see her big, the big legs, mm -hmm. without and the back end, without in? without looking at the others, you know, not knowing how far along mm -hmm. they are, but knowing that they were these big, pretty cells like this. So let's just say that one was the first. That one was the oldest out of all of these. Did you do my math for me? Am I mm -hmm. remotely right on that? If they cap in nine and they hatch on 16, how many days? Don't make me take my shoes off. So I guess this one, these would still be considered larva stage. This one would be exoskeleton stage because she's actually forming and and putting on legs and turning, changing colors and looking tougher, okay? So, huh. but not completely done and definitely 
six days ish away from chewing her way out of that cell and causing John to have to put these up at dark again out of the trees. All right, so should have made a split with the queen I moved. I fell for that whole moving it, she won't swarm thing. Won't fall for that again. That we, we're gonna learn that's a that's a lesson. Overwintered queens and nukes have swarm tendencies, obviously. Caught the big swarm, got the big swarm in the box. That's great. No problem. We've been through this. We got tons of bees yet to come out. We got a little bit of, of aged larva that's gonna be capped. We got a lot of drones that's that's breeding a lot of these queens that I have that are that are you know actually the ones that, that I've split have already flown mated and are back. They should be laying now, and I'm going to go in and do a check on that to wrap this up before it gets any later this afternoon. I've done what I feel like it takes to fix this. Now, unless we missed a sale or there's a virgin queen already in here. These bees should respond to the last two great hopes that are hanging there. One of them is going to hatch before the other. We, we've left two so that we've doubled our chances. We hope she kills the other if they, the one, you know, the winner takes all, flies mates and requeens. We're going to revisit this hive in about, I think about 21 days and find out what we've got is so not to upset the apple cart. I appreciate y'all watching. Send me them comments. Tell me if I've done wrong, done right. Um, let me know what you thought about this. If nothing else, we're learning this together. I told you I'm not giving up on this long hive. I am dead set on making honey in this thing. This is just part of it. We got a swarm, we think we're fixing it. That's the step I took, the method I'm using to get it fixed. Till we see you again, roll that beautiful bee footage. Thanks for watching.